What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. This has been by far the hardest video I've ever made. And in this video, that's why I'm gonna backtrack how this little thing almost ruined my entire video idea. But I'm gonna tell you exactly how I went from this to this. And to show you guys it actually works, this LCD screen now shows my balance and the amount that I've staked. Also, before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to Big Cooley. He helped me immensely with setting this thing up because this thing messed me up so many times. Also, Eldraki, thank you for linking me to GitHub page and those kind of things. People in the Discord. It's basically a community effort this video because I myself wouldn't have managed to actually set this thing up. So without further ado, let's jump straight in this video. So because I don't want to unplug and rewrite this entire code, I'm just going to show you how it is right now. I'm going to backtrack what I did so you guys can follow along the steps. And that hopefully should do it if you want to set up an LCD screen yourself. So the most important thing about an LCD screen is actually the I2C that's at the back right here. It's this black chip on here. And this is the first mistake I made because look, I have two and one doesn't have the I2C. It saves you a lot of time and bother if you just buy an LCD screen with this I2C on it. I tried it with this one, but I didn't succeed. And uh, that's basically the first mistake. So you can learn from that immediately. It's the I2C. Secondly, the most important thing is wiring it up. So because we have the I2C right here and the ESP8266 right here, you want to know how to connect these. So the first thing you want to do on the ESP is on the bottom here, we have the VIN and ground. The bottom two of these, this is to power the LCD screen. So now I'll flip this around so you could see. It is the bottom one, the red cable goes to the second from the bottom on the I2C or the top, however you want to look at it. It's probably the top actually. It's the second one from the top. It's also called the VCC. So that's the power. If you want to hook up the ground, which is the one above the VIN, it's called G. In my case, it's the brown wire. It goes to the top one of the LCD and that's ca called GND for ground. Pretty easy. So now that you've powered the LSD and supplied it with power, now you want to hook up the data pins. The data pins on an ESP are located on this side. You have the D0, D1, D2, etc. We are going to use the D1 and D2 pin. So it's not the top pin, but it's the second and third pin on this side of the ESP. As you can see, I have the white wire hooked up to the D1 and the black wire hooked up to the D2. So as you can see, the black wire, which is the D2 on my ESP, goes to the SDA or the second to last pin on the LCD screen. The white wire, which is hooked up to the D1 on my ESP, goes to the bottom one, the SCL. If you've done that, this is the only wiring you'll need other than a micro USB to power your ESP. Also, what's good to know about the LCD screen with the I2C is this blue box here. It has like a little cross in it. I don't know if you could see that very well which you can turn, which would change the contrast of the screen. 
so you could see letters better or if it's too bright you can make it a little less bright this is important later on so now what you want to do is just plug in the esp8266 after you plugged in your esp now it's time for the hard part otherwise known as the part where i struggle with the most to make it easy for you guys if you want this code because it's a file you can go to my discord channel and just message me hey pack easel i want the code and i'll send it to you right away i have no option right now to upload it to github or anything else so just join my discord channel and ask for the code and i will give it to you probably within an hour so just ask for me for it in the discord and you'll be set so now that you have the code you have to change a few things about it first if you scroll down a little bit you will see wi-fi multi dot addap after this in blue you want to change your Wi-Fi address, so the name of your Wi-Fi and the password of your Wi-Fi. After you've done that, you want to scroll down a little bit more until you see this URL. As you can see at the end of the URL, it's my Dunocoin username. This username, unless you want to see my stats of my boards, you can change to your own username of Dunocoin and that will make sure that the LSD will project your balance and not mine. Also, a fun fact, if you really like messing with code, in this little box, as I highlighted right here, you can change a few things. So you could actually change what the LCD screen shows you. This code normally shows you how many miners that you have running and the amount that you have in your wallet right now. But since I already know how many miners I have working, I found that to be excessive to know on my LCD screen. So I changed it to the amount I've staked. And that's because I stake a lot of Dunos. So I found it interesting to actually change that to stake. And uh, down here is actually the lettering to show staked on the screen. Of course, you can change that to whatever you want. If you go to the serial monitor on the IDE, once you've uploaded the code, this is a very, very, very long line of code. This is all data by who you're verified with, uh, the balance in your account, uh, the last time you logged in, so the amount of staking that you do, basically everything. So what I've done, is basically change this instead of miners. There's also somewhere in this long line, a name for a value that's called miners. I just changed it to stake amount and I made sure to put a balance in front of it because it's a float. It changes regularly. So I wanted to change on my LCD screen as well. Also something pretty important are these libraries. You want these libraries added to your IDE, otherwise this code won't work. So again, if you want these libraries, of course you can search them in the IDE, but if you want them just from me, go to my Discord server and ask me for it. I'll make sure you get it and you can just upload them to the IDE. Now, there's only one thing left to do, and that's click uh, this arrow on the top left called upload. So once you've clicked upload, your screen would turn off and turn back on. And then it would show these amazing values on your screen. And then you can do amazing things with probably 3D printing or placing them somewhere nice. It's just really handy to have and see without going to your web wallet. I hope. I simplified setting this up for you because I had so much struggles with it. I'm not going to go into very much details, but it was really hard. Maybe in the future, I will try to set up my LCD screen without the I2C for people that have 
an LCD screen but don't have an I2C. But then again, if you don't have an I2C on the back of your LCD, I won't recommend learning how to set it up without. I would just buy another LCD screen with I2C. Of course, if you're really handy, then probably without could be fine as well. Also, if this video hits 150 likes, I know it's not much, but it's a lot for me and I appreciate every single one of them. I will ship this LCD screen to a random person that subscribed to my channel. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and like this video to get the chance of winning this LCD screen. But that's the video. I hope it really helped you guys. And I'll catch you guys next week with a Dunacon Rick Showcase. Ciao.